Hello my soccer universe and welcome to the jersey review for the 22-23 La Liga season. First a little bit about the background. I'm very proud that I have of the 20 teams in La Liga this season, I have actually 14 already in my collection and you see all of them back there. Uh, there is one 15th team and unfortunately that one got relegated. So uh, you will see me putting 14 jerseys back up there and I usually wear then an alternate or you know a jersey from a team that I have uh, two uh, or more jerseys from, uh, which are exactly five, and you will see them coming up. I'm wearing the Centenary jersey, away jersey for Real Madrid, which complements nicely the Centenary home jersey up there. But before we get into the review, um, quickly, how do I uh, get the pictures in this video? From where do I have them? And of course, how did I decide to uh, group the um, teams within the video? Well, the pictures, I usually go to footy headlines, but seemingly they have some trouble with displaying Puma shorts. So I said, okay, there needs to be a better source. And of course there is. It's footballkitarchive.com, a web page uh, linked below that I strongly can recommend. And what the nice feature there is if you have an account, not only can you add jerseys yourself, but you also can kind of have an online archive of your own collection, which I really, really like, plus a wish list. So I uh, have to go through, through it, but it's a, it's a page where you can also spend uh, countless hours on. No, how did I now choose the teams within the video? So first of all, uh, every team that I choose, it's in alphabetical order and it's not a strict alphabetical, it's basically how I do call the teams and I will mention that uh, a little bit later how I do it in uh, every particular video. But what I do is I take last season standings and then I go one, two, three, four, four, three, two, one, and so on and so forth. Every team with number one goes in the first video, everyone with number two in the second, third, third and fourth video and so on. And with this mechanism, we have in this video champions Real Madrid, we have Athletic Club from Bilbao, we have Valencia and we have Mallorca and Cadiz. So uh, those are the teams and we'll do it in alphabetical order, which means we'll start with Athletic Club, the Bilbao or Bilbao or Athletic Club, however you slice and dice it there first. And here we go. And I have to say New Balance have uh, released a pretty awesome collection of kits for Athletic Club. Um, the home jersey, I have to say, when once this got released, at that time I didn't have a Athletic Club kit yet, but I said I really need one. But I want to have kind of a little bit, uh, I don't want to wait so long until this goes for sale and so, so, so And this is how I got the one that is up there, which is uh, from uh, two seasons prior. But I really love this one. Uh, it is all that I want. It's uh, kind of thinner, uh, red and white stripes. There's a few uh, black accents on there, namely on the sleeve cuffs, which might be a tad too big. And the collar, and I especially love uh, the buttoned collar here. There is really not much that I can say anything negative about. This is an excellent, excellent kit. Um, <laughs> Maybe it lacks a teeny bit and only a slight, slight bit on, you know, a, a, give, give it a little extra. But for me, we are starting very strong with a nine star here. And I gotta say the away jersey enters the list of one of my favorite kits of this season. And while I think that the green and gold and greenish uh, kits that Athletic Club have been releasing probably are nicer. There's a lion on there. I will always like that. And the way it is done, you know, the gray, uh, the, the two gray tones with the uh, the red in there, it is a really, really strong design. My only uh, nitpick is, why are the sleeves all in dark? Couldn't go, the, the pattern should also extend to the sleeves. But other than that, this is one of my absolute favorite kits this season and one that I have my eyes already pretty much on because it would be nice to have a second athletic club kit, uh, especially the way they have been performing this season. So uh, also a nine star and we are not even, uh, you know, we barely have started and we have already two excellent jerseys. Um, going to the south of Spain with Cadiz and here I have a sponsorless version and I think they have been playing without sponsor. Macron, I mean, there's nothing really wrong with it. Macron releasing a very simple shirt and I think you won't, wouldn't expect much and especially if this worn with blue pants, I think it's a really good overall look. I love that the little triangle here has both of the club's colors. But 
on the other side there's something missing and this uh, kind of shadow horizontal striping doesn't add much to it either so while i don't think this is something wrong it's definitely not an exciting one so we're going the right down the middle um and i actually want to go a uh, five rather than a uh, six here a little bit more exciting is the away jersey i really love that they take the dark blue with the yellow but i'm not sure that the, the, the light blue gradient i i have to see pro see if probably is a full kit maybe if they wear this with light blue pants this could work um if they were worried with navy then i don't think this this work it's interesting uh again monochromatic crest is not always right. i really love the color so that's a real plus but you know it's kind of a so and so shirt and i'm yeah i'm leaning here five-ish as well because there are some uh, features that i like and then i there's this gradient pattern i honestly i do not like that much even though the triangles fit nicely with the crest but i think five and five is uh the just one here and then we'll go all the way to the Balearic Islands to Mallorca and we see another template by Nike and I gotta say it's ugly and this is red and black you know red and black can work really really well like on the jersey that I have hanging back back there and you know one of my favorite clubs is Milan red, red and black I just don't know what this is supposed to be I mean, is this marble? Uh, I think Freiburg had last season something like that where I thought it, it looks like Black Forest Ham or whatever. Uh, it just doesn't do it for me. I, and I have seen other teams with this. I, I don't like it. I think if you have such a bold pattern, you need to, uh, you know, if this was a uh, red and a dark red, I think this would make a whole lot more sense than going uh, this high contrast with this crazy pattern on there uh, that has no connection whatsoever. And, you know, I know that the picture is not the most flattering one. The color looks like there's a volcano up on top, which kind of would actually fit the jersey in a way. But I got I to gotta, gotta be honest, this goes on the scrap heap for me. Is it a one star? Not, but it's a two star for, for, for me. And that's only because I really like the color combination. Um, the away jersey, though, mm, yeah, that's something nice. Though. Again, template. However, we first have a normal color. The gray sleeves bug me, but uh, do you see this uh, triangle pattern forming hexagons in there uh, in black and dark gray and the red sponsor? That actually looks really, really cool. Pair this with red pants and I think we have a really, really awesome jersey. Again, the only downside here to me is the other, 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 other gray sleeves. Yes, there's some gray in there. But either let the pattern extend or go all dark because they look a little bit, um, you know, grafted on. Um, I like the red side striping. So uh, there's really many, many things to like because of the gray sleeves. I'm only going with eight stars here. And we have also a third jersey, which is a Nike template that I actually do enjoy. Uh, the sleeves look something interesting and Nike has been doing it last season was interesting here uh, there was more organic pattern now they have this more geometric pattern uh, but I'm very intrigued by both of these and I do like this I mean full color crest on a white jer uh, jersey but then this is extending up on the sleeves as well I, I think it looks really really cool um, is it as good as the the black jersey that I just saw I don't necessarily think, think so. Uh, it is a template as template can, can be, but it still works for me. So I'm going uh, with a seven, except for the home jersey, I think they chose wisely. If they would have done the third jersey, red, and then with a the black pen, I think it would have been an awesome, awesome home jersey. Okay, after going from the depths, uh, we're going up to the current European and Spanish champions, where Adidas, for you see the 120 inside of the collar for the 120th uh, anniversary for Real Madrid, issued a very classy jersey. Uh, combining white with probably the most common away color that we see with Madrid, which is this uh, purple, although I think the accent is a little bit too faded purple, but then also putting a little bit of black on there um, to add a little bit pizzazz. So I, I think this is very, it's classy. I like this much better than last season, which was almost for a Real Madrid kit too color colorful. This is very understated, but a color always adds class to me. And this is a very much a 90s color. Uh, and you see it on the San Saturn jersey up there. That's admittedly even better. But this one, 
cannot fault it. I do like it quite. Some are ashamed that they couldn't play with that in the Champions League final, although I think it was good that they played with the other other one because I don't want for the final to switch Georgia's. I, I, I think it's a practice that should, that UEFA were right to, ban, to be banned. Now, getting into the nitpicky. I think we're looking here 8, 9, 4, sure. Um, but getting into the, in the nitpicky, and I have been saying that, the previous sponsor was Fly Emirates. Emirates Fly Better is not S class because the fly beta has a completely different font just emirates it's such a playful beautiful uh, appealing to the eyes uh, sponsor one of the best that is out there emirates fly beta doesn't do that it's a downgrade to me um and that's why i'm going with an eight star uh, rating for uh, this shirt I honestly think this is the best shirt uh, because the away jersey, I really like purple. But, and I even get why with the light purple you have black, but I actually like the purple and white look like we have on the Real Valladolid back there. Looks better than purple and black. It's similar with me in orange um, because purple is such a strong color. Then the pattern in itself, it just seems to be it's there because it can be there. Uh, and the Real Madrid crest then in a monochromatic tone, although in the right way applied because the diagonal in the crest is the darker color, so it's still very much recognizable Real Madrid. But uh, something a little bit missing. I, I have to say, for Real Madrid, I always would like to see either some gold or a little bit more white. And if it's purple, it should be purple and white. Uh, I think the one that they won the Champions League in in 2017, that's the perfect uh, purple Real Madrid jersey in many a way. So this one kind of leaves me wanting, you know, there's also a little bit of color, but it's more or less, I don't get what they want to do with this one. Um, it's not very Real Madrid to me. I'm going for here. I don't really like this one. Uh, however, the black one, uh, or black and gray one, is a whole lot more interesting. Uh, here, Yes, it's black and you have this kind of a neon accent, but this looks more Real Madrid to me in a way. Yes, we can talk. What is the pattern? It's kind of a geometric wavy pattern in there, but it's more understated. In the previous jersey, it was uh, uh, too prominent. Uh, here, the crest though looks a little bit um, false color, a little bit inverted, uh, which you may like or, or, or dislike. But uh, to me, this is a much better jersey. Is it a great jersey? I think Real Madrid has way better uh, away and third jerseys than the ones that they have this season. But I have to say, um, this one, I don't mind. It is a six star for me. And then we'll end this video with the team that I'm wearing, which is, of course, Puma and Valencia, now under Gattuso's management. And Valencia got a very, um, how to say, very plain jersey. However, um, I really like that the crest seems to be kind of a little bit of an older style. Pro, uh, potentially they are celebrating an uh, anniversary here because if I compare it with this crest, this is a modern styling. Uh, it's much more squat, the, uh, the bat is coming down. Maybe it's even a new logo, but I wouldn't. I wasn't really aware of that. In any, in, in any case, it, it has an old uh, time feel to it. The sponsor in black is really nice and I honestly think it doesn't really need much more. Yes, it veers a little bit like Hadith on a, uh, on the slightly more boring side. But look at all, all the sponsors are in black on there. And then Paris with black pants and you get a classic Valencia look. Um, could there be maybe black sleeve trims? Maybe. Or the collar is the, the weird one that the Milan shirt also, also has here. Now, a few things that are not all that great, but overall, I don't dislike it for what it is. Was this one better? I don't know. Potentially, because there's a little bit orange in there. Um, but I'm going to go the same way as with the Cadiz one. Um, nothing wrong per se, but it could add a little bit more. Also, the kazoo just by itself might pull it over on the sixth side. Uh, Valencia wagers have been a little bit of an eyesore for me as of late. And yes, this is now the, the current crest that, that they have on there. But the black and the orange somehow does work. And there's a little bit of the crest is also in the pattern in there. Uh, gotta say, that's not too bad. Uh, and you know, orange has always been a prominent color there. So gotta say, this is one that I do enjoy. Um, I would go for a seven with this one. And then 
we saved best for last, although it's I feel that we had this last season as well and maybe escaped my uh, review because it's very much a template from last season. The wonderful flag jersey. Now I have this one from Aldidas. I gotta say I do like this one better because it has the four straps. Although this was a really great jersey overall. Uh, when I saw them play uh, in this jersey at Sevilla, uh, at Sevilla, honestly, it just blew me away. One downside on the back. They have its plain um, yellow and they have blue numbers, so the um, yellow, the, the red gets a teeny bit lost. However, what an awesome jersey. Uh, the other thing is, you know, only kazoo and outline it much better than the box. The box also tones it down, but I will always love this jersey. This is one of my favorite color combinations. I wish that Valencia uh, wear one of these every single season. Now, if it wasn't for the box, I would go straight out 10. However, uh, we have to be re reasonable. The box does destroy a little bit the design, although otherwise with the sleeves and, and so on, it is an absolute beauty. Uh, good enough for me, despite sponsor, I still would go with a nine here. And there we have it. Part one is in the books. Please let me know which church in this video did you like. Uh, give me and where you disagree with me. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this and I will talk to you soon. Bye! Hey there! I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you may enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the little bell icon so you get notified whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with all that, have a wonderful day! Bye!